Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's a masculine card. It's a telescope card that I did many of them. But really this one, I think it's one that really showed this technique. Um, I'm using the Traveler stamp set. We're using the train. And then for the greeting, I wanted the Father's Day card, but I always get a tough time putting Happy Father's Day. Um, I don't have my dad anymore. And I know my husband is a dad, but for him, I was going to put thinking of you on Father's Day. It's, but it would be a great Father's Day or a masculine birthday or thinking of you. Whatever you want to put, but it would be, like I said, perfect time for this. I'm using the wetland, the thinking of you. I think that fit perfect on this car. So um, it's about the same thing that I showed before, but it's a little bit of a trick on this one. And that's why I decided to do another video. So when you're going to stamp your um, train, you want to start on a bigger um, piece of paper. And the reason why I'm using the new uh, frame, um, the scallop uh, tinlet, not the scallop, it gets scallop in it, but it's the square one. And I'm using the bigger one on this side here, and I'm going to use the first one, skip one, then, oops, over here, and then the tiny one. If you don't have this one yet, don't worry, you still can use the old one. Uh, let me reach for the old one here. And so really in the old one, um, see they all uh, fell apart here. Uh, I would use the tiniest one from here, then skip one, the next one, skip one, then the next one. Uh, so yes, no, yes, no, yes. So um, see, it's almost the same you know what i think it is the same thing this one maybe one eighth of an inch different but it's going to work perfectly so if you don't have the new one yet you, that's okay you still can use this here i know i should say oh you need to buy it to have more sale but absolutely not so again I'm using the bigger one. You see these one are smaller. So I'm using yes, no, yes, no, yes. Okay. So we're going to put that aside. And this is what happened. I had started with just a little bit bigger than I wanted. And um, that worked. You see it worked perfectly fine. And then I would put the next one. It worked great. Well, the problem happened with this one. When I tried to match that perfectly, you see, now I don't have my center. I want the center of the train in the center of the last square. So that's why you want to start on the bigger piece. Because if I put that where I want it, then when I move this, see, I'm off my paper. So it don't work good. So let's get started. I could make it work if I work closely with it. Well, I love what, easy. This one is very big. You can go, I would say if you start like four by four would be perfectly fine. If you um, start with a piece of white card stock, four by four. I like to use the stays on with this. I'm gonna stamp that right here. And then, I'm going to start with the smallest square. Let me put you a little bit closer. I like to start with the smallest square because I know where I want that one. Because it's too hard to start and then it's like, oh, it's not going where I want. So I want my center to be the center of my train, the caboose there. This, I don't think it's a caboose. Caboose where it's the people sleep, right? And then I'm going to put the next one. Try to put that as straight as you can. You know, if you follow me, you know, it's not many things that I do straight. So, and then over here. Now you're going to take a post-it note. I always um, keep this little post-it note handy. And you're going to take a post-it note, even with the magneted platform. By the time you're going to move it and that, a lot of time it won't move so I like to use this put my finger there so it don't move 
and put this this way. So then I know it won't move. Now, I won't bring the big shot here because I would have to move the camera again. I'm just going to put that. So I get the magneted platform, my precision plate. I know I don't need the precision plate. I could use, you know what, let me remove this and let's use it the way it should be used. Um, so let's reach for another clear plate here. So I get my uh, magneted platform, clear plate. This one is very bow. Let's try, they're all bow. I know you can put it in the oven to flat them up too. Here we go. Let me roll this in the big shot quick. And the crackle, that is normal. It's just when it cut. Let me make sure, yes, it cut. Okay, let's re remove this. Now, I'm going to remove this here. Let's remove our uh, framelit. And what i done, I think it's easier if I keep it this way for the next step. I wanted to uh, have some of the to put a little bit of shining even if it's a man card we can use the wink of stella somebody was asking me um the other day i did a video they said what is a wink of stella a wink of stella it's like a i would say a glimmer pen um it got a little uh, not glimmer but um oh i had the word now i lost it it's a shimmer here we go it's kind of a shimmer paint in there. So it just gives you a very nice sprinkle. And now the ink is still a little bit not dry all the way. So it's going to get gray. So that's what I like about that. And then I'm going to come here, the front of the train there. And I did my, um, I call that the wheels. I don't know what it's called on the train. But on the camera, you don't see it, I bet. But in real life, it's awesome. Now, remember when I did the, the telescope card, it was so hard sometimes to use the dimensional because they're bigger than the thing and it would see on the side. Well, I'm using just one new product today and it is the foam adhesive strip. What I love about that, you can take your old strip. I don't know why I start in the middle. And then, um, oops, I had my piece of black. I, okay, let's cut a piece of black. And that is good that you can see how I'm going to cut the piece of black cardstock to mount it. Because the biggest one in the square, it's 278. And really, you want to have half inch. Well, 278, many people got a tough time with the 78, 38, 58. So you count, not the tiny one, because the tiny one would be 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you see that 16. If you take the medium line, that's separated in 8. So you, we want three and three eight. So you count one, two, three. So it's the me. Oops, dang it! It's the medium line for the eight, and we're gonna bring that right there. That's three and three eight, and then we're gonna turn this around, and again there, three and three eight. So again. If you count all like from the medium and then of course you count those one, but it's from all the same proportion there. So it's the eight. So the medium one, it's the eight. And then the, these one there, that's the quarter. And I get a video just for the measurement on my blog. Now what you're gonna do this one, I use a uh, dimensional in the back of this one too. But really, the first layer, I think we can put it straight down. So we're going to try it straight down, and we're going to be able to compare both of them. So I'm just going to use snail. Turn this around. And it's almost the same size than our uh, tape on the snail. So it's make it very easy. I'm going to turn this, because that's where I had... Uh, Oops, I forgot one thing. It is, we're going to sponge. And we're going to sponge with smoky slate. I think, and you're just going to sponge the outside. So you're going to 
now my hand's going to be sticky we're going to sponge all around it's just to give even more uh, depth uh, it's going to look even going deeper I don't like that I get the glue there. It won't bend my paper every time that I move. And somebody was asking me uh, about the dauber and the sponge. Well, to be honest with you, something I love the dauber and something I love the sponge. When it's for the edge like this, I like my dauber. So now I'm going to put that Try to center that the best that I can. Okay, now before I put uh, all my, um, uh, not dimensional, but the dimensional strip really, we're going to sponge all around. And this one, we're just going to use one layer of a dimensional. And you can fit the dimensional, it's just that, um, do I have dimensional here? Let me show you what I mean. The dimensional are not round, round, but you get those points. So if you don't be careful, if you go this direction, like this here, a lot of time your point going to go past, you see? So you have to make sure you get your flat on each end. So it's just the size. So it's kind of tricky a little bit. So with the strip, it's so, so much easier. Let's just make sure that. So what I, what I do with the strip, I'm going to take one there and <clears throat> one over there. And again, right here. You can always use uh, scissors. I guess it, I think scissors going to be better to be honest with you. And the reason why it's because when you pull like I did, it's kind of stretched the foam. So maybe it wouldn't be equally. So um, I think don't do what I did, do what I say, use the scissors. So now you see, it won't even show the dimensional in the back. I absolutely love those strips. I was very excited when I saw that in the catalog. That was, and when we're going to make shaker's card, that's going to be the thing that's going to save so much time and keep the shaker inside the little uh, shaker part. Okay, now we're going to take this. Now, to I try, you can, you can go on the top or in the bottom, but what I do, I get a bad shadow tonight. I try to line it up right at the edge there, and then I go down. Oops. So then it matched perfectly fine. So you see? Now the next one, we're going to put two layers. So if you do like the first one that I did, I put dimensional on my first layer. So this one would be two layer of dimensional, and this one would be three. But I think just this kind of, uh, it's going to be perfect. So this one here, I'm going to cut a piece and cut a piece. Put this down, and I try to go diagonal. Oops, where's my sticky here? This way. So then it do it get a good balance. Take where you get your sticky, put it on top of the other sticky. And let's remove this. Now if you get left over like that, just take this, put it back on your paper. So then you can use it next time. Now we're going to match this. And again, I like to line it up right at the bottom and then put it up. Voila. You see, that's plenty layer. And it got a give, so it should be okay to be in the mail. Now we're going to keep that open. Now for the card base itself, it is eight and a half by five and a half. So eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to fold this in half. Get a 
piece of scrap paper here. We're going to be stamping, uh, I call that collage. Uh, what I mean by that, I'm just using, again, that it's in the Traveler. I'm using the suitcase and kind of the passport. And i just going to just stamp ra randomly. It's just to give kind of a background um, background paper really see but it's going to distract a lot when we put the other piece on top now for the banner i got um about oh one inch let me measure this yeah about one and a half inch of the smoky slate this is too long i need about oh one and three quarter inch So about one and three quarter and one and a, and a quarter, one and a half. It doesn't matter even if it's longer. And I'm just going to cut in the center, cut on the side, and cut on the side. And do the same thing over here. See, it's crimpled. Don't worry about that because we're going to crimple that even more. And like this. Oh, I should have stamp on it to um, here. Just to give a little bit more of like texture to the paper. Now I want it to look like all are more uh, used. So I just take my bone folder and really break that uh, fiber in your paper. So I'm going to do the same thing with this. The top it doesn't matter because it's going to get under. Oops, dang it. Oh, we're going to have a small banner. That's it. We're still going to make it work. So you don't want to pull so hard. Now what I'm going to do is put snail in the back of this. Okay, we're going to have a tiny little banner here. Let me fix this. So I'm going to bring that right about here. And now I'm going to go in the back. I want it on this side and I'm going to put that right here. It's See, I had just a little piece but it still gives me quite a bit of a banner. Here we go. Now I'm going to put this right here. You know what? I want my gray a little bit shorter than my black. Here we go. That's much better for me. I'm going to put this right here. Now I'm going to use my, I got my stays on right here with the thinking of you. I'm going to put that right here. Voila. And inside, I just used the smoky slate. And the paper was smoky slate, the great smoky slate. And let's stamp the train inside. And what I done, stamp one, lift, stamp again. So you just get a little shadow like it's been moving. So I show you how to do the shadow, the telescope card. And uh, I think this really look like the train it's moving with this in the center. I cannot even see where I put my original now. So this is it, how to use the Traveler to, um, oh, it's right here by me. See, even with the banner different, it's perfectly fine. I wish the camera would do justice for the um, Wink of Stella, because it really looked like it's more metal. So this is it for your masculine card for this Monday. Hope you enjoy it. And for all your stamping of product, visit my blog at FrenchyStamps.com. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friends.